Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Yonkers Raceway here on Saturday. It is September the 24th, 2016. We're going to look at the first eight races on today's program, New York Sire Stakes. Before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKid5 for more selections. So let's get on to it. I have the first eight races to handicap, handicap races one through eight, all Sire Stakes. Race number one is a one-mile pace, purse $225,000. Uh, it's the Woodenback Farm Pace, New York Sire Stakes final, two-year-old Phillies. We have have a field of eight horses, like I said, going a mile here, and uh, my top selection here will go to the two horse, Robin J. I'm going to go 278 here for the triple, 278, number two, Robin J. John Campbell on this one at four to one for Linda Toscano, last time out, and the Sire Stakes at Toga on the 16th of, uh, of um, September. This horse finished third by half length that day. From the three hole, he went straight, basically second, almost uh, second or fourth all around. Didn't have the best of closing kicks. Wasn't catching uh, Planet Rock. Start before came at... Um at uh, Yonkers here on the 8th of uh, September at uh, Sire Stakes. Uh, from the three-hole, this horse finished second by eight three-quarter lengths with Tim Tietrich and Sulky. You know, he, he held on to second. Couldn't catch the winner who ran a very, very, very good race. Um, Tequila Monday, who I believe is running back in this race from the outside today. Uh, those two outside horses look like they have very live chances here. But I'm going to take my chance with this four-to-one shot here uh, with John Campbell. You know, he's been doing pretty good. His last one came in a Monticello. Uh, sire stakes with uh, Tim Teacher, one by three and three quarter lengths. It was a very clear victory from the two hole, went straight to lead. After that, didn't look back. This horse could make some slow, you know, go to the lead and slow the pace down. I think this horse has a good uh, chance. So, to recap my bets for race number one from Yonkers Raceway, gonna go with the two horse Robin J. Gonna go 278. 278. So, now let's get on to race number two from Yonkers. Second race is the Allegra uh, Farm Trot. Uh, New York Sire Stakes final. Purse, uh, purse is $225,000 for three-year-old Phillies. One mile trot here. Field of eight horses. And my top selection here will go to the five horse, Fad Finance. Uh, going to go, gonna go five, two, three. Five, two, three, number five. five fa uh, fad Finance. Jim Rawl Jr. at three to two for a trot. Such hammer who trains this one. Last time out, ran a Monticello on the 6th of September in a Sire Stakes. From the seven hole, this horse for the second by length. Uh, you know, tried going to the lead. Didn't get the lead. Basically was third early on. Then went to the lead. Then didn't have a really good closing kick. Um, was a favorite also at even money. You know, he's a better pose position today. Um, but start before came at Saratoga on uh, Sire Stakes on August the 19th. Source one by three quarters length from the three hole. But went straight to lead. Easy, easy fraction. 154 and one, which is the this year's best uh, running time he had. And then a Sire Stakes at Batavia on the 13th of uh, August. This horse finished second by two and a quarter lengths at 70 cents a dollar. You know, it just wasn't his best run from the seven hole. Really couldn't do a lot after that. You know, he, he was basically screwed from the uh, posts draw. Um, and his last uh, start here at Yonkers was the 1st of um, August. This horse um, in a sire stakes from the five hole. Uh, didn't get the lead early on, but got it towards the... Uh around the far turn uh, and then didn't look back finished the race uh, he won by a length finished the race in 156 and one not the fastest time but it was an okay start so I'm gonna go with this horse as top selection so to recap my bets race number two from Yonkers Raceway gonna go with the five horse gonna go five two three five two three so now let's get on to race number three from Yonkers third race is the Genesee Farms uh, Genesee Valley Farms pace. New York Sire Stakes final here going uh, for a one mile pace. Purse $225,000. Field of eight horses on the gate. And my top selection here is going to go to the two horse, Me So Fit. Um, Me So Fast, actually. Me So Fast. Going to go 246. 246, number two. Me So Fast. Mac Kelly at 7 to 2 for Ron Burke, who's part owner and trains this one. Um, last time out running Yonkers on the 15th of August in the Sire Stakes. Horse won by four lengths from the four hole. Went straight to the lead. Then look back. A very easy victory. Finished it, finishing the race in 155 and three. Uh, not the career, not the um, best time of his short career, but it was a decent one. Um, start four at Batavia on the uh, 3rd of uh, September and a sire stakes. This horse finished second by one quarter lengths at 30 cents a dollar. From the three hole, went straight to lead, but didn't just got taken over in the final few strides of the race. Um, and then a Yonkers on the 18th of August, sire stakes. Horse uh, from the three hole finished fifth by four and three quarter lengths at 50 cents a dollar. It just horse just tired that day. It wasn't his best of runs. Um, you know, this horse is a great pose position, trying to beat the four horse Funkin' Waffles. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Sutter, Cat, my bets for race number three from uh, Yonkers Raceway. Gonna go with the two horse Miso Fast. Two, four, six here in the triple. Two, four, six. So now let's get on to race number four. 
fourth race from Yonkers is the Majestic View Farms International Trot New York Sire Stakes Final Two Year Old Colt Sing Geldings. Uh, one mile trot here, purse $225,000, eight horses on the gate. And I'm going to go to the two horse, Such an Angel. Number two, uh, going to go 245 here, 245. Number two, Such an Angel. Uh, John Campbell uh, and the Sulky on this one. Last time out, we're in Batavia on the 14th of September in New York Sire Stakes. From the three hole, this horse finished second by one through quarter lengths with John Campbell going up to Batavia to ride this one. You know, from the three hole, basically sat third all around, got up to second, but didn't have the best of closing kicks. Uh, Zach Zoomer, who won that day, is running back into this race today. Uh, hasn't started since then, along with this one. Um, start before I came here at Yonkers on the 1st of September at uh, Sire Sticks. Horse finished fourth by um, four and a half lengths. You know, from the three hole, tried getting the lead, pressed the lead, but then weakened a little bit after that. Really just used uh, too much early on. Um, and then Tioga uh, on the 21st of August, Sire Sticks. Horse finished six by 14 lengths you know it just wasn't his day that day um i think this horse should have a good run one three in a row between the tw uh between the 21st of uh july and the 12th of august uh all basically on the lead all throughout with victories um so i think this horse should have a good run here today uh so to recap my best racing before from yonkers raceway i'm gonna go with the two horse uh such an angel i'm gonna go two four five two four five so now let's get on to race number five the fifth race from Yonkers is the Camillo um, Hill Farm Pace New York Sire Stakes Final for a three old Phillies going for one mile pace, $225,000. Uh, eight horses on the gate for this one again, um, as is all these eight races I'll be looking at. Um, and um, my top selection here will go to the four horse Wishy Washy Girl. I'm gonna go four two five, four two five here in the fifth. Number four, Wishy Washy Girl, Jim Morrill Jr. Nine to five. Last time out, run a Batavia on the tenth of uh, uh, tenth of this month in a sire stakes. This horse uh, finished uh, one that day by one and a quarter lengths from the five hole. Basically sat second all throughout, uh, stalking the the leader, and then he got the lead and then opened up after that. Very easy victory. Start before a Toga and EBC final on the twenty sixth of August. Horse finished six by six. Uh, by 16 lengths, it just wasn't his day. Set the pace early on, but then weakened after that against tougher horses. And then the EBC elimination, so horse finished third by half length. Set the pace early on that day, and then weakened after that. Um, you know, this horse's last start at Yonkers from, was uh, the 11th of August in uh, Sire Stakes from the seven hole. Went to second all throughout, basically finished second. From the outside of post position to finish second was pretty amazing, because he had, uh, you know, it was up against him that day. So to recap my bets for race number five from Yonkers Raceway, it's the Cameo Farm Hill Farm Pace. Gonna go with the four horse, wishy washy girl. Gonna go four two five. So now let's get on to race number six from Yonkers. It's the Crawford Farms LLC Trot New York Sire Stakes Final. Two year old Phillies going for a purse of two hundred twenty five thousand uh, dollars. One mile trot here. Field of eight horses. My top selection will go to the four horse Heels on Wheels. Four three five. I'll go in the trifecta here. Number four, Heels on Wheels. Macacalia, 12 to 1. This two year old Philly, trained by Ron Burke. Last time out, ran at Yonkers on the 12th of August in the Sire Stakes. From the rail, this horse finished third by two and a half lengths that day. You know, basically off the rail, finished, basically was third, third, second, second, or third. You know, didn't really um, have a great closing kick that day. Um, maybe they're saving the horse for, for this start here today. Start before came at Vernon on the 7 eighths of a mile track, the 2nd of September in Sire Stakes. From the 5 hole, the short between the 2nd by 2 and 3 quarter lengths with Matt Cayley. Again, was from the 5 hole, went to basically 2nd or 3rd all throughout stock, but really didn't have the best of closing kicks that day. And then Saratoga on a half mile track, Sire Stakes. From the 3 hole, short between the 2nd by 2 and a half lengths. Um, his last one, you have to go back to the 12th of July to a sire stakes. He won by length, finishing the race in 201, a very slow time. Um, you know, maybe this horse could run well here today. I'm trying to beat Barndella, Barnbella, who's a very good horse. I must say, you know, she, on paper, she looks very hard to beat. Maybe if she doesn't have an, uh, the best of runs today, maybe this heels on wheels can maybe do well. But um, we'll see. So, going to go with this one. So, to recap my bets, race number six from Yonkers Raceway, the Crawford Farms LLC truck. Going to go with the four horse heels on wheels. Going to go four, three, five, four, three, five. So, now let's get on to race number seven. 
Seventh race from Yonkers is the Blue Chip Farms LLC Pace. New York Sire Stakes final 3 old Colts and Gelding's home for a first $225,000 one mile pace here. Fields of eight horses uh, started the pick five also. And uh, my top selection here will go to the three horse Missile J. Gonna go 316, 316. Number three, Missile J. Brian Sears, 7 2. Last time out, running non wars 11 50 at the Meadowlands on the 17th of. Uh, September. So it's finished six by eleven lengths from the four hole with Victor Kirby in the saddle uh, and Sulky. You know, just didn't have the best runs from the four hole. Basically, was sixth a little farther back. Really couldn't uh, close up to uh, anything that day. Start before in the EBC final at Toga. This horse finished seven by eight lengths. A very not. It just wasn't his best of runs. Uh, this horse's last one we have to go back to eleventh of August uh, of July in the Sire Stakes here from the four hole. Four hole. He went straight to lead. Easy victor after that. One by three quarters length. Five cents a dollar. No value with Tim Tietrick. Gets to drive a change Brian Sears today. Who knows his way around this track. Uh, he's uh, out of 1,300 starts this year. He's 257. Uh, has 257 wins. So going to use his horse as a top selection. So to recap my bets, race number seven from Yonkers Raceway. Going to go with the three horse Missile J. Going to go 316. So now let's get on to race from number eight, and this is probably one of my favorite races. It's the most anticipated in my eyes uh, of this uh, whole card from Yonkers. Uh, the eighth race from Yonkers is the Morrisville College Equine Institute Trot. New York Sire Stakes final here. Three-year-old Colt Sing Geldings going for a purse $225,000, like every race they did. Uh, one mile trot here. Field of eight horses on gate. And I'm going to go with the four horse Dante as a top selection. I'm going to do a super fact of this race, actually. I'm going to go four, two, six, eight. Four, two, six, eight. Number four, Dante Okis Schwanstedt at three to one. He trains this one uh, as well as driving this one. Four, two, six, eight. Um, last time out, run at Yonkers on the ninth of. Of, um, September in a sire stakes from the six hole. This horse finished second by four and three quarter lengths behind uh, Small Town Throwdown, who won that day from the seven hole from his outside. Um, this horse was eight and a half to one. Just couldn't catch um, Showdown's uh, Throwdown, who ran very well. Went straight to lead Showdown Showdown, and basically was on the lead all throughout. Very easy victory. Um, this horse, I think, you know, this horse won the. Um, uh, the, um, the Dexter Cup at uh, Freehold earlier this year in very nice time. Uh, you know, it was a very easy victory on the lead all throughout. Um, you know, I, I think you could get a very good run here by this horse. Uh, start before on the Sire Stakes at Monticello on the 8th of... Uh, on the uh, 22nd of uh, August, this horse for the second, but through a disqualification placed 5th because he uh, broke, uh, you know, just... Uh, broke that day. It wasn't his best runs. Uh, and then um, Sire Stakes at Saratoga on the 9th of August. Horse finished second by seven lengths. Again, basically seventh all throughout. Didn't catch the uh, horse, uh, the horses in front of him that day. And his last one came here at um, Yonkers on the 14th of September. And if Sire Stakes, horse won by length. Basically second all throughout. Got the lead and just went rolling by. My best bet on the card is going to be Dante. I think he will have a very good run. So to recap my bets for the Morrisville College Equine Institute Trot New York Sire Stakes Final, race number eight from Yonkers Raceway here on this Sire Stakes night. Gonna go with the four horse Dante as my best bet of the night. Gonna go four two six eight. Four two six eight for a super factor here. So good luck to all and follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid Five. Good luck everybody.